My name is Philip Heitzebaumer, and I go by three different names, as a matter of fact. Uh, one of them, if you really are ethnic and you know how to say it, is Heitzebaumer. Heitzebaumer. And um, if you very, very happy with me, you say, that's Obama. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are really upset with me, if you are really upset with me, you say, that's Obama. <laughs> you have three choices. Either way, whatever you tell me, I will answer. <laughs> I will answer you. Is that your first name? No, my first name, well, my, my first name is Philip, but the, my given name is Alpha. I'm your, that's a little bit. So can we just call you Philip? Yeah, yes. Yes. Well, yeah. my name sounds like Smith. It's just a little longer than Smith. So. Yeah. <laughs> but you're unique. <laughs> so, the name I want to remember is Ike Sebaoma. Or that's Sebaoma, or that's how Obama, either way. <laughs> Um, I came to the U.S. in 75 and I went right to Indiana. And you know, I got there in August and there was some something white on the floor and I'm like, okay, what is going on here? Why the roads are white? Well, there's something called snow. <laughs> so, as soon as I finished in 81, I decided to migrate with the birds down to Houston. <laughs> so I came to Houston, I did in 81 to do a PhD. I, I got, got my optometry degree uh, from uh, uh, Indiana University, so I have an eye clinic in the power center, you know where that is, on South Bend and South Coastal. That's what I do for a living. And uh, I teach part-time at the University of Houston, the Optometric College. So I came here to do a PhD, met my wife from uh, Fifth Ward, Houston, married her. We have two kids. Um, one is 18, in fact, he just moved out of the house uh, a week ago. Oh my God, thank God, we have an extra room in the house now. But he came by this morning to pick up some food. Um, <laughs> then we have a daughter who is 14 years old. And she's out there, my wife and my daughter, they are not here right now because she's uh, in the volleyball tournament. Um, why did I decide to do this? About, well, I've been in politics for a long time, mostly in Harris County and uh, in Houston. I've kind of gone to City Hall many times, and when uh, uh, Bill White was running for the first time, I did uh, meet and meet several times for him, and then he said, uh, why don't you guys get yourselves together? You are better as a group, not as individuals. So I formed a group called the African Coalition Political Action Committee. And in fact, on uh, December the 4th, when it snowed so heavily in Houston, we honored the White with uh, the African Advocate Award because he had done so much for us because of all the leadership we had. So I worked on his campaign, worked on GLO's campaign, worked on Anisha's campaign. So I have followed a lot of city uh, council members in Harris County and uh, in Fort, uh, Fort Bend County. And now I decided about a year ago that it was time for me to run for office, because most of us when we come here from some other country, we think that we don't belong. But when you become a citizen, when you have children, when you have been here for over 30 years, what else is there to do? What else is there to do? So I'm very uh, happy that I decided to do this so that other immigrants, and I know Rodrigo is uh, my opponent, and I'm so proud of him that he has stepped up too, so that other immigrants can step up and say, we belong, we're part of this system. Now, I know time is short, so I'm going to go to the chase. Why do I want to do this? First of all, we want somebody who you can get to, not because you play golf in the right place, not because you go to, you went to some wonderful university with them. Okay? You need somebody that everybody can have access to. You need somebody who has common sense. People talk about common sense as if it's so common. Common sense is not common. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think hard. You have to really think hard to know what to do. We need somebody when it's too hot in, in, a, in a Fort Bend County, when it's too cold in Fort Bend County, when there's a hurricane, somebody who is going to step up and say, this is my job. It is my job to work hard to make sure that the, the people of Fort Bend have all the resources they need. We don't need somebody who's going to be turning things back and say, oh, we don't really need it. We don't really need, need this. No, there are lots of things that we need that people are turning back upon us. So I'm hoping that I'm going to get your support. I've been coming to these uh, meetings uh, for over a year now, and I love all the people that I see. I know that my candidacy is going to bring out a new segment of people a new segment of people that nobody counts, nobody does a survey on these people. They are going to be out there because I know where they are, you know where they are, 
we just need, they just need a reason to come out and vote. And I think with the candidates that we'll see coming up here, that everybody is going to have a reason to come out to vote. And I thank you, and I hope I get your support. Thank you. Well, this election means a lot to everybody. Not just the black people, not just the green people, but to the whole world. You know, the thing that really amazes me right now is the fact that when you go to the White House today, people who thought they could never, never stand proud at the gates of the White House can actually live in the White House, can actually play in the White House. I think of his children. I think of their friends who cannot come to the White House. And these are people who probably grew up in rough parts of town who and just were disenfranchised from the ruling party. They were not, never thinking of being able to say, my father is the president, my father is the governor. So for that alone, I think we've had a huge shift, a huge shift in access, and access does a lot of things to everybody. So I'm very happy, being an I'm immigrant African myself, being from Nigeria, that I can now tell my son, my daughter, there is hope, and more importantly, I can even tell myself, myself, that there is hope. So I'm committed to being more involved. I'm committed to being more active. I'm committed, and I hope everybody is committed to say, look, there is hope for all of us, no matter, regardless of the color of your skin.